Walker, readings on Caffeine Major, I'm back with more of the ball. I'm exploring the pyramid now that I said I would in the previous episode. So let's go ahead and see what's down here. Once again, the same corkscrew passageway. I thought I heard a monkey down there. Oh, the good kind of monkey, not the evil undead ape. Yeah, hello, monkey. Run, monkey, run. The ball's chasing us. No, no, monkey, not that way. Okay, you got past. And there's actually an achievement for killing these little guys. Oh. Yeah, damn it. I'm actually trying to avoid doing that. Just because, well, they pose no threat, so why do it? Okay, checkpoint, so this is where we're supposed to be going. Button in there that I can't hit. Oh, great. Serpentine. Serpentine. Ah. This guy has no upper body strength. You'd think you would see an area that the ball can't get to. Drop the... Hmm. Drop the gun and then, uh... Try to... Just grab onto that. So I guess we have to get down here. Uh, up here. Then press the button and hope it does something good. See if it did anything in here, but I don't see it. Oh, hang on. Uh, see it now? It opened up a door there. Ooh, that was close. At least I think it opened up here. Or is this always here? Hmm. You'd think he would try to shoot me through these bars, but I guess not. Okay, let's get out of here, because this is of no use. Did I do anything in here? Nope. So, we're over to here, and we can take the ball. Not sure if this is where we're supposed to jump on the ball or not. First, we gotta steady it, though. There we go. Now things are starting to make a little bit of sense. Not much, but a little bit. The question is... Wait, how do we do this? Because we obviously got to get the ball across here. But we need the ball to get up there. Hmm. Or is it just simply knocking it back and trying to fish it around? I guess we could try that first. Ah. But yeah, that's the right idea, at least. And this thing is fiddly at times. Feels like there's absolutely no weight to this thing. Feels like the ball's made out of styrofoam. Which is a good and a bad thing, depending on the puzzle. But in this case, there we go. I'd love to have a little bit of weight on the ball. And that did what exactly? Oh, that lowered that. 
Wait for me. Ah, uh, more bugs. I'm guessing that's a dark area. Based on the icon, at least. It looks like light radiating from the ball. Yep. Ah, go! Like I said, sometimes it just feels like the ball just doesn't behave just quite right. There we go. And why does everything want to kill me here? These are some giant ladybugs, by the way. And they're not very ladylike. Not sure what was happening there. And now he comes alive. Uh, guess not. Actually, a little bit surprised there. I was expecting a jump scare. And looks like we're going in along on our own. Ugh, now what? Really? Again? Wait, didn't we already kill this bastard? Or are we sequence breaking now because this is the first pyramid that we came to and not the... Oh. Ah. Yeah, I was a little too close. Okay, wasn't sure where it put me exactly in. Really? A bell? Oh man, that is close. They have no margin of error here. He's right under a pipe, isn't he? Ah, uh, great. Whoa! That should have been a kill. <laughs> and now doing his impersonation of Joe Pesci in Home Alone. Oh, there's an old reference. That was Joe Pesci in that movie, right? I mean, I didn't just imagine that. I'm not a big movie goer, partly because going to the movies is quite the excursion for me. Live far away from the nearest movie theater or movies. I always prefer the term movie theater. It feels more uh, cultured. I don't know. But yeah, it's a long trip and honestly, not a lot that I'm terribly interested in watching. So, this place didn't have one of the scales up top, I don't think, or one of the reflectors. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing up here, outside of... Oh, it did have one. Okay. I guess it was just so dark against the wall, it was hard to see.
All right, let's go back down and then hit the first one and uh, hope that the way will open up now. Otherwise, I have no idea what to do and I'll likely be looking it up. And it's not something I want to look up, actually. Because that takes all the fun out of a puzzle game, figuring it out yourself, but there are times that puzzles are just too obscure that... Or too obtuse, not obscure. That it, they're kind of hard to figure out for the average person. Let's see if I could actually get it into the segue from up there. Oh! It was just to the left. Anyway, get in there. Come on, get in there. So, back to the other one. Man, this thing does make a racket. I'm surprised every zombie uh, down here isn't on my ass for this, for driving this thing around. Or did I play too much Left 4 Dead? Well, Left 4 Dead isn't the only place that zombies react to sound, but it's the first one I think of offhand. I'm not a huge horror guy like I've talked about before. Let's just park here. Get out and... Yeah, the door is closed because I accidentally quit out to the main menu after the last episode. Yeah, it turns out no prompts to go to the main menu. Uh, from the uh, from the escape menu from Paul's, which is annoying, but I didn't lose any progress because I just hit that checkpoint over there. So it doesn't matter outside the door. If you are wondering why the door was closed, if not, well, well, I enlightened you for no good reason. So back down here, and hopefully that guy will let me through now. Okay, there's some monkey down there that over there that wasn't there before. At least I don't remember it over there. I mean, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's take a good look at what's over there. At least I think there was a monkey over there, if I didn't just kill it. Or, wait, is it literally just jam the door open? Is it really that obvious? Let's just try jamming the door open. Ugh, oh, really? And he's gone. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have tried jamming the door open. But we haven't exactly been using that skill before. Monkey. Whoa. Run away, monkey. Does it do anything to the ball? Eh, I guess not. Well, you know, they actually had musical notation all the way back then. Actually, not sure how old musical notation is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to hit these because I didn't pay attention to the musical notes before.
All right, let's head back and take a close listen to see what that was, what the sequence was, I should say. And this isn't exactly secure. I mean, it's like putting a post-it note with your password on your monitor. Okay, it sounded like medium, low, high, low. So, let's see if that sequence works. Medium. Low. High. And then... Low. And wait for the spikes to withdraw. And, oh look, another dark area. Lovely. I just love the dark areas. Oh, and this is gonna be a death maze too, isn't it? Spikes of doom. Catch! Bit of a delayed uh, yell, but... Spikes are doom, so I can't go that way, so I gotta go this way. This looks promising. I'm gonna guess, uh, worm. Anyone else? Yeah, there's our next way through. We haven't actually found any of the secrets yet. And we have six in this area somewhere. Whoa. I assume that these labyrinths have, well, not labyrinths, because they have an exit. That's the difference between a labyrinth and a maze. Exits. Yeah, checkpoint. So here's our worm battle. And this is the way out. Actually, yeah, we could have gone through there. Okay, hello, worm. Nice to see you again. Oh, look, it's the worm. What a huge surprise. Oh, it feels like they're overusing this boss. And I'm guessing that's the button that kills him. I wonder what it does this time. Oh. Oh, really? Ah. Uh. Mm, sorry, and my mouth's gone on something. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I could have probably gotten two over. Oh, come on. Ugh. My grand, this is supposed to be the first time I encounter him, not the third. I'm going to try to just dash over here. Yep. I, actually, I wish I had a sprint because there isn't one that I could s that I saw in the key bonds. Ugh. I wonder if I'm supposed to just go close to him. 
I'm not sure if you could attack me up close. Actually, it's worth a uh, worth a trial, right? Yes, he can. I am not enjoying these boss fights. I like the puzzles, but hate the boss fights. Or at least this particular boss fight. The monkey wasn't bad. And that time there wasn't any delay. Ugh. Worm problems. Am I right? But see, that time he did the huge roar, which would have given me time to get over there. And, nope. I was close to death, but didn't quite. Oh, I... Yeah, I think if he raises up, I'm dead. Because he has a bit longer reach. But I have no idea what's triggering that. Ugh. Yeah, this is death. This is not a fun boss fight. I think I'd rather be trying to get that fucking block off the pillar. Death? No? Ugh. Okay, I got one more to go. Uh, death. Ah, uh, th what's the? Th there's just this oddball to. It's hard to tell when the delay is actually going to be long enough for me to get through. Okay, he's doing the roar, so I could skip the first one and get to the second one. Let's. Death? No. Okay, go around the edge. Let's go ahead and trigger him. Death. Ugh. I think that last one I'm starting too far back. Maybe. There's the long roar. The thing is, I know how to beat, to beat this guy, but it's just not letting me. Alright, I was able to get through fairly easily that time. Let's trigger him one time and see how far we can be up. Oh, we can be up a fair ways. Oh! I had to be right on the edge. I bet you this is the uh, same person that designed that fucking pillar uh, puzzle. It had to be. I'm not sure how many designers they had on this game, but... Whoever thought this was a good idea was having a bad day at work or something and just wanted to piss off as many people as possible. Okay. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh, we're flushing him down the toilet. No? We crushed him. Serves the bastard right. Ugh. Okay, let's trigger this elevator and uh, head out, and then we'll call it a day. Sorry for all the cussing and frustration, but... Yeah, it, Um... Uh... 17 times killed. And I think most of them were on that particular boss. Or that version of the boss. Which is just ridiculous. There are some very small margins. I talked before about how physics games like this have to have a certain amount of margin. Uh, a certain amount of margin for error. You have wiggle room for how the physics interacts. Because there's, there's such thing as perfect physics in a game. There's always little rounding errors and that sort of thing. And that boss fight, the tolerances were so low on where you could stand that there was times that it felt random you know, just if I was going to make it or not on top of that the fact that the uh, animations felt like there there was a few times that it roared when it wasn't 
and when it didn't do it before and there was times that it immediately snapped when it there, there was just some oddball uh, I guess the best way to describe it is oddball timings okay let's turn the third sail or reflector and we're done here in theory Okay, does this trigger anything? Or trigger any boss fights? Hopefully it's no worms. I'm sick of worms. Anything inside? No? What the hell is that? Well, fuck. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take refuge inside. And next time we'll be trying to escape the undead vulture thing. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with more of the ball.